Welcome to U.S. Immigration TV. Joe Biden has been declared the winner of the 2020 presidential election, and he has promised a radical change from Trump's strict enforcement policies to a policy of compassion, leniency, and possibly even amnesty. In this video, I would like to go through some of the Democrat Party's platform highlighting some major changes in immigration. And hopefully, Biden will push these proposals forward into laws. Now, as the Democrats declare on their party platform, immigrants are essential to our society and our economy. Immigrants are part of our families. They enrich our culture. They grow our food care for our loved ones, serve in our armed forces, and provide critical health care services, immigrants make America stronger. And I truly believe that as well. Now, what are some of the changes that Biden and the Democrats propose for immigration? Let's go through some of the major ones. First, halt funding and construction of the southern border law. End the Muslim travel ban. End Trump's immigration ban where he banned new immigrants from coming to the U.S. from outside the U.S. at least until 2021. That's going to be over. Reinstate, expand, and streamline protections for DREAMers, which is DACA, and the parents of U.S. citizens, which is DAPA. So is he going to bring those programs back into effect. Remember, we had DAPA a few years ago, but then there were injunctions. Let's hope DAPA becomes part of the law, enabling parents of U.S. citizens to get work authorization and reprieve from deportation. Halt and rescind Trump's immigration wealth test. And that may mean rescinding these new public charge regulations, which is making it harder and harder for people to meet the public charge and affidavit of support requirements. Fast track legalization for essential workers who are caring or involved in the pandemic and other healthcare workers. Reduce application backlogs and waiting times and make our immigration processes faster, more efficient and less costly in eliminating unfair barriers to immigration because it seemed that Trump had turned USCIS into practically an enforcement arm of Homeland Security, looking for ways to be strict and looking for ways to deny cases. Let's hope Biden and the Democrats will be more lenient. Reaffirm America's commitment to family-based immigration. What Trump had wanted to do was to emphasize merit-based immigration you know, based on age and skills and education and coming to the U.S. to work and to reduce family-based immigration. The Democrats and Biden are committed to keeping family-based immigration the core of our immigration system. Treat spouses and children of immigrants the same as spouses and children of U.S. citizens. In other words, category F2A, which is spouse and minor children of U.S. citizens, will be the same as IR, or immediate relatives of U.S. citizens, meaning they can get their green cards much faster and possibly be able to apply for their green cards in the U.S. even if they are out of status. Eliminate family-based green card backlogs and reform the system to speed up family-based petitions. Now, does this mean that categories such as married children of U.S. citizens and brothers and sisters of U.S. citizens will be much faster? If so, if you have not already filed these petitions, you may want to think about doing so very quickly. End the three and ten year bar which is going to be phenomenal. The three and the 10 year bar is if a person has been out of status for more than six months and they depart the U.S., they cannot come back for between three or 10 years. And this may mean maybe no more need for the provisional waiver. Bring back 
prosecutorial discretion, and that is marvelous. Prosecutorial discretion was where if a person is out of status, yes, they are deportable, but if they do not pose that much of a threat to society, immigration is going to leave them alone. They're not going to run after them. They will only go after uh, felons, terrorists, and other criminals. We had that sort of program during Obama, but when Trump came in, that was eliminated. That will mean that people will have much more leniency in their deportation cases, and maybe a lot of deportation cases or removal cases may even be dropped. That's how it was during Obama. These are some of the highlights of Biden's proposed changes to immigration. Let's see what happens. And if there are changes, I would strongly recommend that you seek the advice of an attorney if you believe you are eligible. While an attorney cannot guarantee success, I think that if a person is applying for immigration benefits, especially when there are new laws, having an attorney can greatly increase the chances of your success. Now, we will continue to keep you posted and updated on new and the latest developments in immigration law, and we are hoping and expecting a lot of favorable changes in immigration law. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. I'm Michael Gerfinkel, and this is U.S. Immigration TV.